Hello children, today we are going to learn about lesson 5, soil. Do you know what is a soil? Soil is the topmost layer of the earth or in other ways we can call it the skin of the earth which is made up of mixture of minerals small or big rock particles, clay, water, air, organic matter, etc. Aims Number 1. To learn about soil, its importance and formation. Number 2. To understand about the composition that is what all make the soil number three to know and understand the concept of soil profile that is what are the different layers of soil and what are their functions and importance as in the beginning only, I have told that what is a soil? Soil is the topmost layer of the earth. It is very important as it is responsible for all kinds of life on it. Whether the humans, plants or animals. Now we are going to learn what is the importance of soil in our life. Soil, it is the medium for the plant growth as this topmost layer of the earth is very fertile in nature. And you know the meaning of fertile is that allows the growth of the plant at a high speed, at a good rate also and is best to, suitable for the growth. Now besides important for the plants to grow, it is also important for many animals as it provides habitat to them like earthworms, rabbits, mice, bacteria, etc. And these animals indirectly, they help in making the soil more fertile. Soil stores water by filtering and purifying it and thus forms the underground water. It performs this function as it consists of the pores and these pores get filled up with air and water. So children, the amount of the pores in the soil, it is different in different types of soil. Like the clay soil holds the large amount of water. Sandy soil holds very less amount of water because in the sandy soil the water dries up very quickly. Now we are going to do how this soil is formed. The formation of soil takes place through a process called weathering and weathering is the process of breaking down of big rocks to smaller pieces then to the powder form due to the continuous action of sun, wind, water. And you know that the earth it was formed millions of years ago and it was just covered with the rocks. These rocks as the years passed on, 
they broke down into smaller pieces due to the action of heat of the sun, air, water from the rain. And these smaller pieces of rocks got mixed up with the dead and decayed remains of plants and animals and changed into soil after millions of years. Now you know the time taken for soil formation is very slow but it is a very continuous process and just for the formation of a thin layer of soil, millions of years it takes. Now why this process is a slow process? You know because what happens in the nature during the day the rocks heat up and at night when the temperature decreases these rocks cool down. So this action of heating and cooling brings crack in the rocks and when the rain occurs the rain water enters in these cracks you can see in the picture the water entering in the cracks so the rocks become weaker and they break down into pieces some of these get carried away by river for a long distance and in this process of being carried away by river they get pushed up against each other and they further become smaller and smaller and finally when they get mixed up with the organic decaying matter now this organic decaying matter they are the dried leaves or the fallen trees or the dead animals their remains they change into soil and so this process takes place continuously in the nature but it is a very slow process and it takes the millions of years just to form one inch only of a layer of soil. Now let's learn about the composition of soil. It stores minerals that act as nutrients for plants. And these nutrients are the substances that all living things need to grow. Whereas the minerals are the nutrients found in the soil. And these minerals, they come from different types of rocks in the soil. Now next is air and water. They are present inside the pores of the soil. During dry season, there is more oil in the soil. So the soil dries quickly. Whereas in wet season there is more water inside the soil as the water fills up the air space also. Microorganisms and small animals like earthworms, rabbits, mice, ants, termites, bacteria, etc. They are also present in the soil as the soil not only provide the habitat to them but you know these animals they also contribute to the quality of the soil as these animals they help in enriching the soil by breaking down the organic matter. Now next is humus. Humus is the organic matter that consists of 
the remains of dead and decaying plants and animals and the presence of this humus it makes the soil more fertile for the plants to grow and this humus is found on the top layer of the soil now students we are going to learn about the soil profile or in other words we can say what are the different layers of the soil this soil profile it is made up of the three main layers of the soil and each layer of the soil it runs parallel to the surface and they have different properties and functions the topmost layer of the soil is the top soil it is made up of fine particles of sand clay humus air and water the plants grow in this topmost layer but you know the roots of some of the huge trees they may go deep to the next layer and why it is there that is because in search of water due to the presence of humus this layer has the capacity to hold water for longer time and also improves the fertility of the soil the next layer or we can say the middle layer is the subsoil and it is made up of small broken pieces of rocks and contains very less amount of water the third layer is the bedrock as the name bedrock it suggests that a bed means the layer of the rocks is there and this is formed of large pieces of rocks deep inside the earth and you know the formation of the rock it begins from the bedrocks only first these bedrocks they break down into smaller pieces of rocks and forms the subsoil then subsoil further breaks into a powder form and forms the top soil so children i hope that it's clear how the soil is formed and what are its composition and the importance so that's all for today so children now you must be very well aware about the formation of soil and its soil profile yes children soil is formed from the rocks only now these rocks when they undergo the process of weathering they form the first layer of the soil do you know which layer is it it is none other than the bedrock which is the result of the weathering of rocks over a period of time the layer of bedrock further breaks down into smaller pieces of rocks sand etc and it forms the middle layer that is the subsoil this subsoil further breaks into more finer particles of soil and now contains clay sand humus air and water and children this layer as it contains clay sand humus air and water forms the topmost layer of the earth called the top soil 
which is the most fertile layer for the growth of plants. I hope now you have understood today's concepts. So, with a big thanks to you all, let's end today's class.